In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A20 to a TV. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the new smartphones that are coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, if you'd like to win cool tech, make sure you follow us on Instagram at h2techvideos. Let's go ahead and jump right in and get you started on how to mirror that screen to your TV. All right guys, so to make this work, there are three requirements. The first one is you will need an HD TV that has an HDMI input. The second thing you'll need is home Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi network, which um, hotspots don't really count because they don't tend to work as well with this uh, method I'm gonna show you. The third thing you will need is either a Chromecast or a Roku. We're gonna use one of those two devices and you're gonna be wirelessly mirroring your screen to your TV. Now I'm gonna show you um, two methods to mirror your screen. Um, the first method is basically going to mirror exactly what is on your screen. So if you move the screen, you will see that on the TV. If you play a game, whatever's on your screen will show on the TV. The second method is how to mirror just a video from your phone to the TV. So maybe you have YouTube on the phone, for example, you just want to play that YouTube video on your TV. I'm going to show you how to just mirror that video and continue to use the phone to do other things while the video is playing. So those are the main things you need to know. Let's jump in and get started. The next important step is you are going to need to grab your TV remote. So after your Chromecast or Roku is plugged in, you will need to grab your TV remote and usually you'll have a button that either says source or it says input. This is the button that's gonna allow you to switch to um, that HDMI port that you have your Chromecast or your Roku plugged into. You wanna get the TV set uh, on that source so that when we make the adjustment on the phone, you can see it right on the TV. So go ahead and do that right now. Grab the remote and switch your input to whichever one your Chromecast or Roku are plugged into. The next thing you will need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and look for the option that says Smart View. We're gonna tap on that, and this will show you a list of all the devices that you can um, mirror your phone to. So I have two devices plugged in. I have a Chromecast, which is named Office TV, and I have a Roku, which is named Office. So I'm gonna tap Office TV, and you guys should see that um, just that quick, the phone is mirrored to the TV. Now there is this option where you can change the aspect ratio, but I don't usually change it. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And now my phone is fully mirrored. Whatever I do on the phone is gonna show up on the TV. And um, there is an option in the settings. If you go to hold the home screen, go to settings, you can, um, change the layout of the phone so that when you rotate the phone, so tap rotate to landscape mode. Now when you rotate the phone sideways, even on the lock screen, the phone will automatically rotate. So just to show you, it fills up more of the screen. Now at this point, I can do anything from go to the gallery app and show pictures that I have on the phone to browsing Google Chrome, to look up different things online. I could go to Instagram. Whatever I do on my phone is gonna show up on the TV. So that's the important thing to note. Um, let's say you wanna play a YouTube video, no problem. Let's go to YouTube and let's go play this video right here. Keep in mind you will control the volume from the phone. So we're gonna turn the volume down. If you wanna get it to fill up the screen, you will need to turn it sideways and the video will start playing shortly. Now here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with this method, but I don't prefer it. And the reason for that is, um, when you're in this mode, it's always showing what's on your screen, which means that maybe you wanna use your phone while the video is playing. You don't want the entire video to always be on your screen. So really this mirroring method only works when 
you're trying to control something on your screen like a game or a PowerPoint, something where you would need to continue to interact with the phone and also have it show on the TV. So to me, this is not the best method for showing a video. So that's why I'm gonna go into the second method, which is gonna show you how to just mirror the video without uh, it taking over the whole screen. So look for this little button. This is your smart view button. Tap on that and just tap disconnect and it, you'll see that it has disconnected and you're back to your normal Google Chrome um, screen there. So the way to make this other method work is going back to YouTube and you know, make sure you've tapped on your video, make sure it's open. Let's pick a different video. Now in the upper right corner of the video, we have this little icon. It is called the cast icon. We're gonna tap on that icon and these are my two devices that I shared at the beginning. So Office TV is the Chromecast and Office is the Roku. So I wanna send it again to my Chromecast. So I'm gonna tap on that. And you'll see now that the TV has changed and now the video is playing only on the TV. Now I can go home and I can go to my text messages. I can browse the web, I can do whatever I want and that video is gonna play on the TV. And that's why I like this feature because with this method, you're able to still use the phone to do other things and have the video play simultaneously. So this is my preferred method because I only really ever use screen mirroring to watch videos. You might use it for other things. There might be a game that you and your friends like to play and you wanna watch the game play on the TV. In a scenario like that, the first option or the first method would be the best. So uh, pick the one that works better for you and now you know how to do it because we've walked you through both on the, on the video. To end it, you're gonna just swipe down from the top and you'll see YouTube as one of the options and there's a little arrow right next to the top of the little notification. If you tap on that, you can then hit the little X and you can stop the video from playing and that will end it. Now I will leave a link in the description below of where you can purchase a Chromecast or a Roku to make this work for you. Um, again, it's, it's not too complicated. Now, just as a disclaimer, I, I often make these videos and people will ask, well, I don't have Wi-Fi. I just wanna play what's on my phone on the TV. Well, unfortunately with this phone, it does not support MHL which is, it's a feature that will allow you to plug a cable directly into the charging port and then run that to your TV. You only see that supported on the higher end Samsung devices, so there really is not an option that's gonna allow you to play what's on your screen on the TV without Wi-Fi. So unfortunately, this is the really the only way to do it. If you know another way, hey, leave it in the comment section down below, but to my knowledge, uh, there really aren't too many other ways to mirror your screen other than a Chromecast or a Roku, and there are certain Amazon Fire devices that will also work as well. So anyway, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. Like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. We've got a lot, of, uh, lot more fun videos on the way. Have a good one.